Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna show you the steps on how to assemble a carport. Uh, first thing we do is put a rail on one side and then measure across, like this one is 20 wide. After that, go cut a corner. We're gonna measure from one corner to the other and get exactly the same dimensions on it to make sure it's square. After that, we go on by putting screws on the legs into the truss by sliding the leg and put two or three screws. At this time, we got three screws on the leg and one on the brace top only. And then we go back to the middle of the carport and then add a brace as well. Continue by extending the carport up and sliding the legs into the rail. At this point, we're gonna set a string all the way around the building and then measuring from the string to the truss, two feet. This is gonna determine our two feet all the way around. And then by lifting the leg a half an inch or quarter to get the line straight. How do you see there? If you see any big humps or have to dig a little bit underneath to compensate the level on the two feet, that's what we're digging or under the rail. After you get to that point, we're gonna set the level on the side of the leg on each leg and get it exactly level by putting a screw right there and holding it level. Once you get to that point, you're gonna drop the anchors all the way down and put the first sheet. We're gonna leave six inches on each end and line up a line to the first rib of the sheet metal. I'll show you in a second. Uh, we've got a line on the trusses with the pencil mark that we're gonna line up on the center rib. This one has five ribs, so we're gonna find the middle rib and hook up the line of the truss on the center of that rib on all trusses. Once you get the first sheet, second one is gonna go underneath the first one. Line it up six inches out and tack it down. This one is 12 wide, so it's gonna have five sheets. One in the middle and two on each side. If you're gonna walk on the roof, you have to walk like that. And you can only go across on the trusses. You cannot go across in the middle. If you're gonna walk in the middle, you have to walk long ways, like, uh, like this, doing a big steps. Right here, we're gonna set a trim on the edge that is gonna prevent people from cutting or animals, any other type of uh, accidents. That's why we have the smooth trim on the edge of the building. When you complete that trim, you're gonna blow away all the debris that you find on the roof. This type of building had a sidewalls it had two and a half panels on each side. We do the same process. And then for the edge, we do a trim as well by putting the screws on the rib. You're gonna determine how many screws you wanna put in. At this time, we put one on each rib. And there you go. We got a complete building. We're gonna let that dry for a few days and then bring some dirt and some gravel on top of it. But for now, I'm gonna show you the other type of roof. This one we call vertical roof. It runs to the edges. It's gonna have a, a ridge gap on the center. So this type of roof, it needs head channels that it goes horizontal like that. And then the sheet metal goes vertical like that. The first step we're gonna do is put the string 
on the metal of the trusses and leave about an eighth of an inch gap between the string and the sheet metal. The string is going to determine how straight we can go on each side of the metal of the pick. We also line up this six inches or three inches on the edge like that. Put some Z trim on the edge for looks. And then they run the panels side to side, connecting on the metal so we can set some ridge cap on it. On the future video, we're gonna have a step by step how to do a vertical roof to make it look like that. Well, thank you for watching. See you on the next.